Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell. Today here at GoParallel, what I'd like to do is show you how to use the VTune amplifier to do remote testing and analysis from Windows on a Linux machine. And I won't be able to show you the, all the steps due to the time limitations, but I can show you how to get started with it. And if there's interest, then I can show you how, in a future video, how to do the remainder of the work. So let's get started here. The first thing you need to do is open up the amplifier the standalone GUI for the amplifier. And the way you do that is just go to your start menu and click VTune, click Intel VTune Amplifier. And that actually launches the, the standalone GUI outside of Visual Studio. Usually when we use this tool, we're using it inside Visual Studio. But today we'll just be using the standalone version. Okay, now the standalone tool is running. You can see it's a, a basic GUI outside of Visual Studio. But before we get going on it, I want to point you to some resources that you'll be able to use to, to get going with it. In addition to watching my video here, uh, I created a bit.ly short, shortened URL to help you get there. bit.ly remote VTune. We'll take you to this page on Intel, uh, collecting data remotely from the VTune amplifier GUI. Now down on here are several links, and towards the bottom, uh, there's a remote analysis workflow for a Linux system. There's also one about Android, and that would be a really interesting topic for us to go through in a future video and in the blogs if there's interest. I know I use Android a lot, so that would be pretty interesting. But for this one, we're going to do Linux, and click on that link, and I'll open it in a new window here. And that talks about the workflow uh, for dealing with the host system and installing VTune Amplifier, etc., and running the collectors and drivers on your targeted Linux system, which can be an embedded Linux. It doesn't have to be, for example, uh, Ubuntu or something. And then back on the first page here, there's a uh, preparing a target Linux system for remote analysis, and that one's going to be interesting too. Uh, one of the things that, that the VTune Amplifier uses is the SSH access to to connect to the target system. And so you need to set up SSH on your Windows platform here. Now, Windows doesn't have that built in like most Linux systems do. On Linux, it's just a simple command line. Uh, for for Windows, the, the usual way is to use PuTTY, which is uh, a secure, it's, it's pretty much the standard secure SSH tool that people use. And to get there, let's find the actual web page. You want to make sure anytime you install a tool like this, you want to make sure you use the official one and not one from another page that happens to look the same, which might have malware or something in it. So let's go find the, the actual putty for you. So head over to Google. And the one you want is the one that has the greenin.org.uk one. That's the where you're going to find the 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 developer who created it and the official page for it and down here is putty.exe they're they're just they're they're not installers they're they're just executables that you download and run and putty and putty gen are the two that you'll need and on this page here they show you how to get back to that one they, they show you how to configure it now one thing that you need to know is on your linux system this uses a key for login rather than a password. It's pretty easy to set that up. They, they walk you through it. And it's generally a pretty good approach for logging into Linux anyway to use a private public key scenario. That way, if somebody does is able to connect to your system, they won't be able to log in at all. Even th There's basically no password for them to even use. They need to have that key file. OK, so now that we've got that all set up, let's go back to our our VTune amplifier here. Now what you want to do is click New Project and give it a project name. We'll just call this Test1 and Create Project. Now initially the project properties will come up. You can get to this from the main screen if you need to change anything. There's a button you'll see in a minute here. And you want to set up Target to be Remote Linux. And then you'll put in your SSH details. Now even though you're not using a, a, a a password, you're using a key file, you still need to use a username and
and I've got a, a whole uh, network set up here where I use a dot local set into my set into my um, hosts file. That way, I don't need to use a public DNS server name or anything like that. And there's three different types here. You can attach to an existing process, in which case you give the process name or a, a, P, a process ID. And uh, you can profile the whole system, which is a system-wide analysis. Or you can launch an actual application. And again, you give the application name here. So we're going to do the launch application one. And you provide the name of the application and any parameters you might need if, if you provide any in your application. And then that's about it. You click OK. Now, if you need to make changes up there, up here is the project properties. And that just takes you back to the same same window. And that's all it takes to set this thing up. I We're short on time here, so I'm not going to be able to show you actually running the analysis. We will do that in a follow-up video, but this will get you started. Be sure to check out these links here. Uh, remember, it's the bit.ly slash remote vtune and that will get you to the main landing page on the intel site and down at the bottom are several links for getting you going and that's about it for today